Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, my name is Julie, and I am the author of the blog CapturingWinterland.com. It's time to do another really fun furniture restoration process. I have this beautiful antique dresser in my two younger daughters bedroom and it is the perfect size for them and it does have a mirror. I just noticed that this was still in here. The mirror is in storage and it does need work so I don't have it to show it to you right now but when I start working on it you obviously get to see it. So I already took off the hardware that is the first thing you always want to do when you start working on a project is to just go ahead and take off the hardware. I like to store it in little sandwich baggies with their screws all in there so that they are all set up. I don't have to worry about anything going missing. So of course it is flathead <laughs> screw so I just grab myself a butter knife because I don't have a good enough flatheaded screwdriver to work on it. So went ahead and took off the hardware and it does have a bit of veneer damage. This piece I purchased several years ago, probably. I am fortunate that it does have all of its original hardware and it is beautiful brass. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I will not be doing anything with that. However, there is some veneer damage on the top, but I'm not gonna worry about it because the mirror covers it up really nicely. My plan is to just fill it in and then refinish the top and the ugly spot will be hidden. The spot that I'm gonna have to fill in with Bondo. And then there is some veneer damage down here. I'm gonna try to just fill it in and keep it stained. That's the plan so far. I'm really hoping I can stick with it because it's a gorgeous dresser. And the nice thing about this is, I'm really hoping this can be a quick process. Please, Lord, let it be a quick process. Maybe I should be crossing both fingers. Please let it be a quick process. I'm really hoping I can get this done in 24 hours because I really don't want to invest a ton of time in this, but I wanted to do another furniture restoration project. It's been a little bit since I've done one and this is calling my name. It needs my help. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a quick process. Let's just get straight into it. My children, someone, was hard at work with my gold Sharpie. I don't know, there you can see it. There you can, yeah. My gold Sharpie, which I'm sure will just come off with a magic eraser. But otherwise, in really great structural, really great structural. Oh, there's a spider sack. That's lovely. things with the veneer on the top but overall it looks in pretty good condition I love this little overlay here super dirty and the frame does need tightened just a smidge down here it is separating right over here so I'm gonna have to use a little bit of glue so let's just get to it have a lot of hope for how this project is going so far. It took me a matter of minutes to get it, to get the finish off of this. Just a little bit of hand sanding and then literally it just came off so quickly on the fronts with my orbital. So that is extremely, gives me lots of hope for how quickly this project might be able to go. But there is some interesting writing on the bottom of these drawers. It says, remember enough. I can't read that one. Wedding. And the other one has some interesting stuff in it too. Situations, sincerely, grooves, central standard twine, and weep up. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's a beautiful script handwriting, so it must be old and I'm excited about what the rest of it's going to look like. It's uh, always interesting. Ugh. Beautiful sounds of birds outside. Love it. I'm about to ruin that with <laughs> my sanding, but you know, you do what you do. I'm going to use my orbital and I'm not even going to start with 80 because it's a veneer. I'm just going to start with 120 
and be real gentle with it because I don't want to lose any more than what I already have going on here. extremely bright and sweaty it is extremely like Missouri feels like a greenhouse right now <laughs> it's very humid now I got to get to the other flat spots of the beast it's just so pretty I don't know if this was refinished previously but I don't think it was overall really good shape was more work than I wanted to do on a single leg but that's what you get when those super curly ones curly I love that I just called it a curly leg um, yeah the nice thing is that the finish on this um, disappeared a long time ago. So I'm not having to compete with any of that. I literally just have to get the top layer of stain off and then I can stain it. So I don't have to get it perfect at all because I'm not going for a natural wood look. So if you were going for a natural wood look, you might be more concerned than I am. I'm not concerned about it at all. Not one iota. Oh. While I have it here, I'm going to go ahead and sand down here. Bye-bye. I do believe I am done sanding down the body. Thank you, Lord. Now time for, oh my gosh, I'm really gonna need a shower after this. Now time for the drawers, the last two big ones. I did the two small ones last night. Didn't show you because honestly, I don't feel like you need a ton of footage of me sanding. Hopefully that footage felt like an instant for you though because ah, definitely wasn't an instant for me. I wish I could fast forward through it too. Ooh. I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. I, I kind of don't want to refinish it. <laughs> it's just one more thing. I'm kind of like, maybe I'll just clean it. You're like, maybe, maybe I'll just clean it. All right, let's do some drawers here.
All right, I'm gonna try using wood filler instead of Bondo this time, because I think I have, oh, hello little spider. I'm gonna put them on my plant. I think there's more of a chance of it staining than Bondo, so that's my plan. these drawers but that's the thing I don't like about wood putty is that it does not build very well like if you have a large amount of something missing it doesn't want to stick like it just kind of falls off so I had to kind of pile it on and hope that it comes off with the sanding and I'm able to sand it pretty smoothly so I'm just gonna let these dry and I'll come back all right moment of truth it's all dry so let's get it up here Fingers crossed. That big chunk, I don't think it was 100% dry. So I'm not going to mess with the edge. I'm just gonna let that continue to dry. And then I'm actually gonna come back in and build it back up and then let that dry. But other than that, um, it filled them in quite nicely. I'm actually really happy about that. Lay your head on my chest. So, as usual, this is taking a little bit of turn. I was hoping I could keep these stained, but I just can't. I can't. They look awful. Um, yeah, they look awful. <laughs> I hate wood filler. I mean, I'm sure that it's user error probably, and I'm just not using it for its proper application. And I probably am just not skilled enough at refinishing and all of that. I would have to replace the veneer and I'm just not willing to do that. I'm not willing to put that into a dresser that's gonna stay in my house. And I don't really do this to sell furniture like for a living. Although I do sometimes sell them, I'm not doing it with that purpose in mind. So I, I don't have those skills and I don't wanna learn those skills. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I need easy. That's what I need in my life. So to be easy, we're just gonna paint it. So I'm gonna leave this part wood and the rest of it's gonna get painted. So there's that. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. Before the blue skies fade to gray, we're gonna be okay.
a much heavier uh, distressing than I normally do and I really like it. I really didn't want to have to paint these drawers anyway so this makes me feel better about it because I can still see a lot of the wood grain from underneath and also I have five kids guys. Distressing is just smart for me. <laughs> like it's going to end up beat up anyway so I might as well just make it look that way to begin with. So it's a style. That's how I see it at least. Alright guys, there you go. There you have it. I finished the dresser in a single day, which is quite impressive. It was pretty easy. Nothing too complicated. So that's why it made it super simple. This is probably the simplest dresser project I have had yet and I am here for it. I wish all of them were this easy. Um, didn't want to have to paint the drawers, but it came down to it. I mean, I tried to, again, keep it as true as possible, but the damage was significant and that wood filler just did not look good at all. It looked awful. So I am happy with how it turned out. If you want to see the mirror project, I am going to do that in a separate video because I feel like the mirror frame and the mirror itself, the fixing it and the updating of it is probably going to be just as much work as the dresser. So that's going to go in a part two episode. So make sure to come back for that one. Um, I'll be excited to get into it. I actually do not want to hand sand that mirror. <laughs> I really don't. So I'm gonna see if I can try a different technique to get the old finish off. That would be preferable to me personally. But anyway, thanks again guys for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like the video if this is content that you enjoy watching. And if you are not subscribed yet, I would love it if you would join me here at this community of Capturing Wonderland where we talk about all the ways that we can make a beautiful home on a very small budget. All right, I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye. Oh, your socks are all over the place. Oh, I need a cane to find dresses, shirts. Oh.